how stress can lead to mental and emotional health challenges is that to start out with, we are all hardwired with our own unique response to stress and acute stress. And in fact, okay, we're not that different from animals, right? When, when a gazelle is, is faced with, say, you know, about to be chased by a lion, right? What does the gazelle do? It runs. In other words, it's hardwired to run because that's what it does best. A honey badger will like turn around and, and fight. It doesn't care if, you know, whatever's chasing it is 10 times bigger than it is. In other words, it, it's hardwired to fight. A rabbit shivers in fear or a deer is like kind of caught, like they always you know the phrase, a deer caught in the headlights, right? Or a possum will like play dead, right? We humans are the same way and there's no right or wrong. It's giving yourself, I love that phrase, the grace to understand that you're not an awful person. When acute stress, like in other words, when your unconscious mind perceives that there is a threat to you, it may not be a saber tooth tiger or you know, you may not be immediately in danger of your life. Your unconscious mind doesn't know that because it doesn't think. All your thinking happens up here in, you know, behind your forehead in your executive rock star team. So your, when you go, when you are faced with an immediate threat within milliseconds, your blood gets shunted to your muscles so that you can run or fight. Your pupils dilate so you can see better. Your heart starts racing so that, again, to start pumping the blood around. It shuts the blood down to organs like your digestive system because that's not where you need it. In other words, it's, everything is what needs to happen now to keep me alive. And that's a very, that's like our superpower, right? Our adrenaline shoots through our body in milliseconds. And then over time, right? The adrenaline wears out. It can, it's, it's only meant to be like that high octane superpower for like a very short time. And if the stress continues, then your cortisol hormone ramps up and hormones take a little longer like hours to days and so it will it will take longer but when it gets going it it does the same job its whole purpose is to keep you alive right it's not worried about long term effects so the cortisol hormone messes with your sleep and it causes you to gain weight and 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 while all of this is happening, remember I said your executive rock star team is offline, right? Because that's not the time to be thinking. When you're faced with a threat for survival, which is what your unconscious mind thinks, whether it's your boss calling you into the office or you know, wondering whether you're going to be able to pay your mortgage, it's, it's still a life or death threat as far as your unconscious mind is concerned. And, and so... One of the things that your executive rock star team does is it tamps down the emotions, right? So you can focus and concentrate when you need to. Mm -hmm. And that's offline. So all of a sudden you're like the Hulk and like, and you're like flying off the handle at your, your family, your loved ones, maybe your boss, or you're <laughs> crying at the drop of a hat. <laughs> so this is why our emotions can be so volatile. And we see it worldwide right now, don't we? Mm 